When I grew up, I was on TV. I represented all the Boy Scouts of America on a survival reality show. Ten total divas are paired with hardcore survivalists. We even have the Boy Scouts of America. It all starts now, kicking and screaming. But it wasn't always this way. I was born in the poorest city in the entire United States of America. I was surrounded by gangs and drugs. When I was in middle school, I was staring down the barrel of a gun in my own back alley. When I was in high school, my father was killed. I'm not supposed to be here right now, y'all. I'm supposed to be in a gang. I'm supposed to be on drugs. I'm supposed to be dead. But that's not the way it happened. the most most wonderful inspiring uh, talk he was outstanding I, I I think everyone should hear him speak I would try for a goal I'd be all excited I'm really gonna do it this time man I'm gonna make it but over time the passion faded things got in the way and suddenly I found out I hadn't reached my goals again has that happened to anybody else here yeah. all right cool and the other one just failed to raise your hands <laughs> It's true, right? So I decided it was my job to find out why, what the difference was. I literally went around the globe and I talked to successful and unsuccessful people to find out what the difference is. And I found out something about the space shuttle that blew my mind forever. Something about the space shuttle that changed my view of success for the rest of my life. Would y'all like to see what it is? Okay, check this out. Who has seen a rocket launch, TV, movies, whatever? Help me out, raise your hands if you've seen a rocket launch. Okay, pretty much everybody, good. Yeah, and then you've seen, okay, there it is. T minus 10, nine, Eight, right? Seven, six. You see all that smoke, all that fire, all that force, all that steam coming out, right? And yet, the, the, the T minus four, you've got all three main engines of the space shuttle combined firing at full power. All of that force, all that potential. And yet it's going nowhere. Have you noticed that? It's sitting there. Why? Ever wonder? Eight relatively tiny bolts. Yeah, eight bolts holding this thing back. All that power, all that potential to go 15,500 miles per hour in space. And it's going nowhere because these things hold it back. Something amazing happens at T minus three, two, one, zero. At T minus zero, explosive charges go off within those bolts and blow them apart so they can no longer hold that thing back from what it was meant to achieve. Are you already with me on this one? Absolutely. So I found out what those eight bolts are in all of us. Would y'all like to hear what they are? Too bad we don't have time, sorry. <laughs> but we, we have time for a couple of them, a couple of them, okay? Raw, real, brought the energy, and it was just really fun. He did a great job, his energy was wonderful. The thread of the stories throughout the entire uh, topic was really nice. In the military, we have a saying, there's no such thing as atheists in foxholes. Because when somebody is trying to kill you, you find God, right? <laughs> I will say the same thing for making cold calls, though, because I have never been so afraid as when I'm making a cold call. Oh, my gosh. And I've, I've never prayed so much as when I'm making a cold call. And like, please, God, please let them be nice. Please don't, don't let them slam me. Please let me get an answering machine, right? And, and why? <laughs> oh, y'all been there? <laughs> Fear, false experiences appearing real. All too often we think about the negative things that can happen and not about the positive things. We picture all of the negatives. Is that right? Are, are y'all with me on that? Check this out. People say face your fears. Has anybody heard that before? Help me out if you've heard that. Face, yeah, face your fears, right? 
No. I'm going to tell you, do not face your fears. Whatever you do, don't face your fears. Here's why. Because whatever you focus on becomes larger, right? Whatever you focus on gains more power. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, everybody do this for me. You guys are a very, very cool crowd. We learned that real quick. Do me a favor. Put your thumb between me and you. There you go. Everybody go and do it for me, even in the back. Fantastic. Thank you all. There you go. I appreciate it. Now, I want you to focus on your thumb. Look at your thumb, okay? Now, keep focusing on that thumb. Can you see your thumb right now? Yeah, clear as a bell, right? Big as can be. Now, keep focusing on your thumb. Can you see me? Well, yeah, I'm kind of back there. I'm just kind of fuzzy, right? Yeah, I'm there, but you can't really see me that well. All right, good. Now, keep focusing on, keep, now focus on me. Now, keep your thumb up there, but keep focusing on me. Now, can you see me? Yes. Clear as a bell, right? Is your thumb still there? Yes. Yeah, you just don't really notice it much anymore, right? Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. Here's an example for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Now I have eaten grubs doing survival in the Amazon. It's no big deal. No, this was a grub, okay? This was like cigar size, slimy, wiggling, gut squirt out of your mouth when you chomp on it, grub. Oh yeah, ew, yeah, yeah. Enjoy your dinner tonight. <laughs> and my, my partner comes up to me, she goes, Terry, we're in trouble. <laughs> It's like, why is that? I have a horrible gag reflex. I'm going to throw up. And they said, if we don't finish it, if we spit it out, we throw up, we're out. Ooh, we have a problem, right? I said, we have no problem. There's no problem at all. Here's what I want you to do, Natalie. Uh, Hannah Simone, the host from New Girl, she's going to say, wow, look at that. Isn't that nasty? Isn't that disgusting? Oh, my God. Isn't that just the grossest thing ever? Do not buy off on it. Okay? Don't buy off on it. I don't want you to even look at that at all. I want you to be thinking about that... Um, that charity that, that you love and the kids with that charity. I want you to be focusing on them, cheering you on while they're watching this episode. Natalie, Natalie, that's what I want you to do. Throw that thing in your mouth without even thinking about it and go for it. And she did it. She did it fine. Now you notice where I'm looking, right? <laughs> I ain't looking down at that thing. There was a pile of guts on that table, which I licked up when I was done. Thank you very much. Mindset. There are no excuses. Uh, it's invaluable. Invaluable. Now, before I tell you the story, though, I have to let you know, not every story has a happy ending, okay? Not every ha story has a happy ending, but we can learn from it. Is that okay? All right, cool. Because this brother wanted to be, are you ready for this? An astronaut. So, guess what? He went for it. Yeah, him and several thousand other people, right? <laughs> You understand, right? It's not gonna happen. For 12 years, we've been trying to tell you, you just don't make the grade, dude. For 12 years, oh, it got worse. We said, understand now, it's no longer improbable, it's now impossible. You're too old. Yeah, you're past the window. Not every story is happy ending. You're past the window. You're too old. We don't accept astronauts at your age anymore. Wow. Believe it or not, it got worse. When he said, Mike, you've been trying to work your career too long for this pipe dream, okay? You need to start working your career for your career. It's probably too late, but you need to do an about face immediately because you're about to lose your job at NASA. You need to work your career for your career. He was devastated, guys. He was absolutely devastated. That was it. That was it. No more chance. Now impossible. And that's a gut check moment. Right? That's a gut check moment. That's the time you go to the, the mirror and you look yourself in the eyes and go, am I going to be powerless or powerful? Am I going to be the victim or am I going to be victorious? Am I going to be conquered or the conqueror? Now, it wasn't possible. But when I found out that Mike was trying for it again, anyway, because that's not the point, right? I called him up and said, Mike, I want to make sure that you understand something. I couldn't be more proud of you. I could not be more proud of you than I am right now. And when Mike got the phone call, he knew right away from the tone of the voice what the answer was. When the guy said, Mike, I'm sorry. Ooh, we've heard those words before. Mike, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, 14 years of blood, sweat, and tears, guys. 14 years. 14 years of one myopic goal, his heart and soul into this one thing, to be shut down with those two words forever. I'm sorry, when he was in grade school, when he was in grade school, he got a book on space. And he wrote in there, when he was in grade school, someday we'll touch the stars, I'm sorry. The guy said next, literally dropped Mike down to his knees. Like I said, Mike, I'm sorry, but you no longer work here. Because you've been selected to be a United States astronaut. Is that awesome? See, Mike not only went up once, Mike went up three times. The third time he went up for six months to be the commander of the International Space Station. Is that awesome? Yeah, yeah. But While he was up there, he recorded a video for y'all. Would y'all like to see it? Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> the event is amazing. Being able to hear Terry talk and, and give the story that he has with his show, and as well as the story of his brother, very inspirational. Personally, I've gone up against a goal a number of times and haven't quite gotten there, and that really that helped me a lot. After today, you'll recognize fear, you'll recognize the excuses, and you won't let those bolts hold you back anymore. Something really spoke to me in that, and I thought, you know, if he can do that, I know I can do it. And ask yourself, are you going to be powerless to it? Or are you going to be powerful? Because there's no person or no circumstance that can take that power from you. Are you going to be the victim or are you going to be victorious? Are you going to be conquered? Or are you going to conquer? If this were a Yelp review, I give it five stars.